with you in the model shop. Uh, continuing on with our Arbitras D5. Uh, as promised, this time I've got some stuff painted and assembled for the cockpit. And uh, so I'll show you um, what's put together so far. All right, so here we go. Um, got the uh, main part of the flight deck here, or your, your cockpit tub glued into place. There's a couple of instruments in there, a hand pump. Uh, there's a compass on a gimbal mounted down in there. That's the black thing. Looks pretty cool. Uh, I may do some weathering here, uh, additional weathering on the control yoke, or, or I'm sorry, the control stick. And I may rig it. I haven't decided yet. There's instructions for it, but I'm just not sure how much you'll really see. Since uh, from the top, that's half of the, you know, the hole down in there is not a lot of room. Um, well, this is a little bit of glare. There's another little instrument panel I have to install. This actually, uh, there's a gauge on the top, and the rest of these are actually supposed to be switches. Um, you know, kind of a keyed type of thing. And then uh, there's this arrangement. There's a little airspeed indicator or something uh, that goes in at the very front top part of the uh, cockpit. We'll have that all put together. And then uh, right here, this is the next... Um, well, when it's all done, it may look like a bulkhead, but it's it's not covered all the way, so it's a frame. Uh, anyway, these are the ammo cans, and I'll see if I could set it in here so that it makes sense. I'm trying to do this while holding the camera. There we go. Goes something like that. And as you can see, um, it'll really kind of fill up the the view forward here. And on the front side of it, uh, there's these big chrome tanks that go there, and then you'll have the whole engine hub. Um, let me set the camera down, and I'll put the two halves together, though, to show you really uh, how this all closes together. All right, so get our two halves here. And I, I've been checking this uh, fit every so often just to make sure that um, I don't actually paint something that will cause the two fuselage halves not to go together. And right in here, uh, as you can see, right here where this uh, part for the ammo can, where it fits through, uh, it's a little snug. But anyway bottom half goes together fairly well top here make sure everything's locked into place pretty much goes together like so so then you're left with uh, this is your view where the engine compartment is we'll have to get all that worked out and the top here as you can see there's not a lot to look down in there. Um, try and tip this forward a little bit. Pretty much all seats and then you'll have a bar going right across the front. So uh, a lot of the detail on the inside isn't going to show up or minimally. Which is fine because then you don't have to do a whole lot of uh, you know stressing out over how the whole thing looks on the inside. Um, yeah, so far I'm pretty happy. Next thing that will happen though is uh, there's some big pieces that go on the front of uh, this section of wood framing. And then at that point you've got, it looks like, one, two, three, four maybe more ribs and we'll be building the engine. Which the engine and these wingnut wing kits is essentially another little model in themselves. So I'll have a whole little section on that. But uh, yeah, that's how it's coming together so far pretty pleased and uh, once they got all these parts painted up it looked like I was making some progress again so anyway uh, if I could see really well right there there's a little bit it's a little tight right up in here on this bulkhead and that's causing me to have this fitting be a little snug um, it only has to connect right there I just want to make sure that we're not too tight in here um, 
I don't want to have any other fit issues down the road in terms of these halves coming together. But I plan on, I'm not going to put these uh, pieces in here, the cowling covers. I want as much as that uh, Daimler Benz engine to be uh, viewable as possible. Anyway, that's it. Hope you've enjoyed this. And uh, when we get something more put together, um, we'll show the next phase of the assembly.